Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on Beep Strip Drum Board Modular Groove Box. In this video, I would like to show you how you can use uh, clock generators and how versatile they can be when you create, um, when you mix them up with other racks, other modules. Um, so let's start um, with uh, with an example uh, of a simple bait. As you as you probably know, if you followed some of the other videos and tutorials, you can easily create um, a a bit and um, if a bit if you, uh, for example, <clears throat> on the first track, if you add um, I don't know an instrument um, like drum and you put a kick like that, and then you put um, um, step along the ways like so and then you go to the second track and you had for example snare like that and you add another instrument um, like so etc so you could add the hi-hat for example on the third track so that's one way you could do it with actually uh, clock generators you can simulate something like that but just using a single track so how do we do that let's start the game so let's click on new and let's add um, and let's create a new project so so let's add um, what is called the clock generator so let's go to miscellaneous utility and um, let's click on clock generator okay then let's uh, add um, under generator or sampler and let's use a preset for example a kick now <clears throat> let's make that clock generator be driven from a time perspective by the global time there you go and um, the gate of the sampler from the gate of the clock generator so let's establish that the triggers per bit are going to be one one trigger per minute per, per um, uh, one trigger per bit so like so let's click play so suddenly you can hear <clears throat> that the clock generator is generating one trigger per bit and that is triggering the sampler where we have the kick so now let's add another clock generator like so Let's add another sampler. Like so, let's go on the drama and let's select snare. Now, this again, this clock generator is connected from a time perspective to the global time, and the gate here for the snare sampler is connected to the second clock generator, as we've done for, uh, for the previous one. Now, if I click play, so there's a bit uh, something you can hear only the <clears throat> the snares okay so let's change the trigger and um, triggers per bit and let's do that to half of the time of the first one and let's add a mixer <clears throat> like so let's um, add the first kicks output and the second one to the mixer and let's click play sorry Perfect. And you can continue like that. So for example, let's um, add um, the hi-hat. So let's add um, another clock generator. <clears throat> let's add um, another sampler. Let's choose hi-hat. Okay, same connectivity. This time the trigger, let's make it twice. So twice the speed of the first one. Let's add a mixer and um, let's then connect the mixer to the individual samplers. And let's click play. <clears throat> 
so as you can see you can easily create uh, a bit just using a single track and you can use the clock generators to drive the events for each of the individual sampler like so and then you can connect the output of those samples into a mixer to mix uh, the different um, <clears throat> Uh, the different events generated by the clock by the clocks to the individual samplers. So I hope these um, uh, this is useful uh, to you and um, and you can and I'm sure you can find other use cases um, on how to implement the clock generators in your work. Uh, thank you. See you next time.